Hey guys, it's Luke, your digital concierge at Gramophone, and today we are taking a look at a product. This is the Cord Hugo 2 DAC and headphone amplifier. The Hugo 2 by Cord is an exceptionally powerful portable headphone amp with an integrated DAC. But it is not just that. This is designed to serve two purposes. While it works amazingly well on your headphones, it is also an excellent home system DAC. It's the kind of product that you can have on your system at home, grab it and take it with you when you're on the go for your headphones. This product is designed from Cord by the ground up, a completely proprietary chip and technology that stands head and shoulders above the others in its price category. And one that I think absolutely stands out and deserves your attention. All right, guys, so when I was getting into this, I took notice of how awesome this box is and the presentation of everything is so on point. So we start at the top here, just cord logo, right? Flip that over. Your journey begins now. Yes, it does. Open that first flap. This is pure audio on this awesome mint colored checkered background that I think looks really cool. Starts to get you excited, right? And then right on the top is your Hugo 2. Take that out of the bag. And while I will talk about the design later, already I'm sure you guys can see how nicely machined the enclosure of the Hugo is. Now check this out. Here's my favorite part. Go down here and cool little drawer that has all your accessories in it, like your charger, remote, cables, and everything. And all that stuff can be stored in a really nice on-the-go bag that you can use for your accessories or for the unit. Let's get into this. All right, guys, so for what comes in the box with the Hugo 2, obviously the unit itself, along with a very nice felt bag for storage and portability to keep it safe. Another little bag for keeping all the accessories I'm about to show you in, and they are your power adapter, which comes with international plugs, so you can easily change that out, take this and charge it up anywhere. A remote, nice set of batteries with your remote, gotta love when they include batteries. And then of course, all your connectivity. This has a short micro USB cable, a straight micro to micro cable, Toslink to mini Toslink optical, and then a full, full size Toslink optical cable, as well as a full size USB A to mini USB cable. And then if you take a look at the user manual, this is an awesome little manual. It's all textured, feels really cool when you pick it up, and is very detailed, tells you everything you need to know about the different modes and settings on the Hugo which there are many and all of them are extremely useful this thing brings so many cool options to the table and we'll get into talking about that next all right guys i'm going to get into the specs and features of the hugo 2 but also a little bit into the compatibility because with this product i'm going to give you guys a full demo on how everything works so you can fully understand it and see why this is such a standout and desirable product so we'll start just by simply powering it on. You can see that there's four buttons on this side, and this is your volume control right here. Here is your power. Hold that down just for a couple seconds. You see it begins to light up and boot up. It goes through a little process, only takes a few seconds. While that's doing that, let's take a look at this side of it. Here you have your optical in, your coax in, which actually works in two different modes, analog out for desktop or system use, and then your headphone out for portable use. Moving to the other side, we have two different micro USB ends. This one is specifically for power and for charging, whereas this one is for data, therefore your USB digital input. Moving back onto the top, here are what your four different uh, buttons do. This of course is your power, but while it's on, it serves as your battery indicator. And what Cord does on all their products that is one of their design mentions, by the way, and something that really makes them stand out, and I personally think is just really cool aesthetically, and functionally interesting is that everything is indicated by making use of RGB lights. For power, the closer to blue this appears, the fuller the battery. The closer to red, the lower the battery. I'm on yellow, so right now I have about half battery. This button right here is called crossfeed. This allows you to select between three different modes of headphone crossfeed. 
as in purposely through signal processing, mixing in a little bit of the right channel to the left and a little bit of the left channel to the right. And it does that to better simulate as if you were listening to speakers where both your ears will hear all the information as opposed to just headphones. My personal preference is to run that on low as I find just a little touch is kind of the sweet spot. But definitely play around with it. You guys would, could find any setting is your preference. Up here is your input selection. Right now it's set for USB. Yellow and red are your two different modes of coax. Green is your optical. And of course, Bluetooth is blue, you know, Bluetooth. And then moving up to the top, one of my favorite features on any Cord DAC product, which is the filtering modes. Cord has four that they're known for, and I'll start from the top. White is just simply known as neutral, as in it is the truth, no coloration whatsoever. Green is no coloration, but it rolls off the high frequencies if you feel like your music is coming off as a little bit harsh or a little too bright. My personal favorite is orange for warm, a little bit of mid bass boost, not enough to ruin the intent of the song, but just to sweeten it a little bit. This is my personal favorite for most pieces of equipment that I plug this into. And then red is the warm filter, but with a high roll off again, warm it up, but cut down on those sibilant highs if you feel like they're bothering you. Really great filters and you can actually hear the difference. Depending on what I'm running, as I said, I normally run warm, but sometimes I just run the straight transparent as well. It depends on the system. Moving on to the volume wheel. Big thumb wheel right here that if we start at the bottom is just completely dark, as in no volume. And as you come up, it gets brighter and moves up that RGB scale with kind of an indigo white color being the maximum. Now, an important note about this. Since this is designed to serve both as a portable product for your headphones and as a desktop DAC for your home system, you wanna make sure this is always at the right setting for that. If I power this off and then go to power it back on, but hold the cross speed button right here while powering it on, notice how that changed to kind of an indigo color. That's three volt line level. Whenever you use this in a desktop mode, make sure you do that so you have perfect output from this and you don't have any issues with volume down, down the chain in your system. Use your preamp for that. All right guys, so as I promised, I'm gonna talk about the design of the Hugo. And this is one of those products where besides the lighting features and the cord kind of essential look of having everything displayed to you via RGB, including the quality of the recording you're currently listening to displayed through a color in the central window. It's otherwise a pretty minimalist product, but this is an example of perfect minimalism. The machining on this case is flawless. The corners are rounded and soft. You're not going to poke yourself on the end of any of this. It is very smooth surface to it. Nice anodized finish in black. And it might be a little difficult to see on camera, but the Hugo 2 name is engraved right into the body as well as the cord name up top. Flipping it over, a nice little touch is that this is made in Britain and has that sticker right there. And a little bit of more information on the back made by Cord Electronics and a call out to the fact that it says AptX Bluetooth. And nice little feet on the bottom to keep it secure when it is set down on your desk or on sitting on top of your system. One particularly cool touch of the design, and of course following the cord theme of different colors, look at the central window here. It's a little magnified lens that gives you a look at the central circuit board, including where you can actually see the DAC chip itself off to the side. And this little LED will illuminate different colors based on the resolution of your source material. So whatever file you're playing, whether it's, for example, 44.1 kilohertz, 48, 96, et cetera, et cetera, it will tell you by picking a different color to illuminate, and your user guide will tell you what that color references. Really cool touch by Cord there as well. And I, I, I absolutely love this little touch right here though, where it says that it's made in Britain. As many of you guys may know, and if you don't, England is the home of many a great audio products. Many a great products, from electronics to speakers, you name it. Those who are in service of Her Majesty know something about audio. All right, guys, so now I'm going to mention the compatibility of the Hugo 2, and I could almost get away with just saying everything. 
And what I mean by that is quite literally. You can plug this into a streamer that uses coax or optical out, and you can plug this into a computer running virtually any operating system and have it work as it is entirely driverless. And that is the benefit of having a product that is from the ground up and its design, software, hardware, everything right under Cord's own roof. Excellent, excellent compatibility. All in all guys, for just under $2,700, the Hugo 2 might be one of the best portable DAC amps that you can buy right now. And it gets you into a certain class of product that is excellence in its audio presentation and exceptional in its design. And we love to see that because here at Gramophone, we strive to deliver our customers the absolute best quality products and to do so at the most reasonable prices. And we've been serving the greater Maryland and Washington DC metro areas for over 44 years. And so whether you're an audiophile, a tech enthusiast, a potential buyer, or you just love watching our videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our newest product highlights, interviews, and much, much more. If you guys have any questions or you want to learn any more about the Hugo 2 or any other cord product for that matter, pick up the phone and give us a call or stop by one of our showroom locations in Timonium, Columbia, Gaithersburg, or Hunt Valley, Maryland. Also, don't forget to check us out over at gramophone.com. And if you want to get your own cord Hugo 2, click the link down below to head on over to skybygramophone.com where you can see today's current pricing, check out securely, and receive your product in just three to five business days. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and drop a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to the Gramophone YouTube channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. But don't forget, we want to hear from you guys. What do you think of the Hugo 2 or other cord products for that matter? And what do you want to see from me in the future? As always, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you.